Hey everyone, what is going on? Hope you are doing well. Welcome back to the RC Explained channel. In today's video, we're continuing along with our battery series and we're gonna ultimately determine what the actual C rating is for an HRB battery pack. The specific HRB battery pack that we're looking at here today is a 4,000 milliamp hour 60C. It happens to be a 6S, but it probably falls in line with all the different types of cell counts that you can get of this specific series. The way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna run two specific tests. One is gonna be more of a theoretical approach relating to the internal resistance of the battery pack. That's gonna tell us what this battery, what we should expect to see out of this battery pack in theory. Then the second test is going to be an actual test where we're gonna load the battery pack up to a certain current level to see if it can pass at that current level. Let me know in the comment section below what you think the C rating is going to be for this HRB battery pack. Now to add a little bit to our actual test, what I plan to do is run it at a certain current level and if it exceeds the 60 degrees Celsius mark or approaches that mark, that is going to be considered as a failed test if we're not yet at 5% resting voltage capacity. So that's essentially means when we stop the test and we allow the battery pack to recover, we want to see at least a 5% amount of voltage there, which is going to correspond to a certain amount of voltage per cell. That's how we're going to ultimately determine that. If we do exceed that 60 degree mark, that is going to be considered as a failed attempt. And then we're going to try the test again at a lower value of current. We're going to maintain constant current throughout this entire test and because my setup does rely on running a specific EDF fan I'm gonna to have to adjust the throttle level to maintain the amount of current that is being drawn from the battery pack just before we get into the theoretical C rating of this battery pack I did want to mention that I have revamped an old channel of mine if you like to see things that go fast like radio control jets and radio control cars you'll want to subscribe to that channel I'm gonna leave a link in the description below also a huge thank you to the patrons of this channel to help fund projects like these. Battery manufacturers are not going to just send battery packs when they know that the performance of them are going to be rather poor. In that case, I have to go and purchase them here myself. So again, thank you to the patrons. Let's get into it. Here is a power supply that I converted from a PC to help power the charger. You can see we're drawing about 14 amps from that and we got a 4,000 milliamp hour pack. Now I just saw the 14 amps go down to zero. So that means our, we got our resistance being calculated. We got 26.1 on the pack and it looks like we're averaging about 4.3, 4.4 per cell. Here is the Patreon spreadsheet. You can see all the different calculators there on the bottom. We are using the calculate the real LiPo C rating. We just need to enter the two bits of information in here and it's gonna calculate out what this C rating is. So let's begin by placing in the 4,000 milliamp hour and we're gonna average out the pack. We ended up coming out to 26.1 milliohms in total divided by six. We can actually put that right in here, 26. 0.1 divided by the six cells gives us 4.35 milliohms on average. That determines for us the C rating, which is coming out to 19 C. This gives us a maximum continuous current of about 76 amps. That's not that much for a 60 C rated battery pack. Here's the very first test that we got up on the screen here. We're comparing current and the average cell voltage versus time. Now, if you look at the very bottom, this is our time axis on the far right-hand side. This is the maximum amount of time that we've held this battery pack, our HRB battery pack in this case, at this load. 100 amps is our load. So in this case, we are running at 100% throttle for our given load, and that's why we see kind of this wavy sort of curve for our current curve. And the orange one, orange is always going to represent voltage where the blue one is current. For orange, we could see that the voltage kind of stabilizes and almost maintains that mark for the entire duration of this specific run. So what I have to say about this test is these couple bits of data, the final capacity pole being 3250 milliamp hour, the resting voltage is 3.74 volts, representing 22.5% capacity remaining in this pack. Now I do have to tell you at this current rate, this battery pack failed and could not maintain 100 amps. In fact, it exceeded 60 degrees Celsius 
Celsius in blue right through it. If I would have stopped the test in time, it would have ended up having a resting voltage that would have been even higher than this, probably closer to 25 to 30% capacity remaining. Here's the one current 83 amps is what we're running it at. We end up seeing that we're maintaining more of a constant amount of current as I'm adjusting the throttle to maintain this. I have to take a logged data. I take the data, it's all logged. Unfortunately, the current there does not represent the appropriate amount of current. I have to put a correction factor on a test that has been very accurate when I compare it up to different current measuring devices. And we can see the voltage tapering off all the way to the bottom, in which case we get about 140 seconds out. We pull 3290 milliamp hour. Our resting voltage is 372, leaving us with 17.5% remaining in the pack. Unfortunately, at 83 amps, this also fails the test and it cannot sustain our HRB battery pack, 4,000 milliamp hour, 60C, cannot maintain 83 amps. Moving on to the next test that we did, 72 and a half amps is this one. You can see I maintained about 75 amps more so through this run than the 72.5 amps that we titled this. Nonetheless, we have our final capacity pulled 34, 10 milliamp hours. We're getting a little bit more usable capacity out of the pack. However, our resting voltage is 3.70 volts, meaning we have about 12.5% capacity remaining in this battery pack. And unfortunately at 72.5 amps, we also failed the test as we exceeded 60 degrees or we got to 60 degrees or higher. So let's take a look at our next one. This is a 65 amp test. And you can see I'm maintaining 65 amps by running it and trying to average somewhere in the middle 65 amps of each of these sections. And we do that and our average cell voltage over time, you can see it dropping all the way down to somewhere closer to just under 3.5 ish or so. Our final capacity pulled is 3770 milliamp hour and the resting voltage is 3.65 volts which gives us about 7.5% capacity remaining. And unfortunately, even on this test, it did not pass. It exceeded 60 degrees, but it was awfully close to being able to pass. Unfortunately, it did not at 65 amps. So let's move on to the, our next test at a current of 50 amps. And we have our final capacity pulled 3920 milliamp hours. Actually a little bit surprised we were able to get that much capacity out of this pack. The resting voltage of the pack here ended up being 3.45 volts, 2.5%. This is actually a little bit more than I would want to pull out from the pack. I really want to stop the test somewhere around 5%, and not really go below that 5% mark, somewhere between 5% and 7.5% capacity remaining. Remaining. At 50 amps, it does pass the test and it doesn't pass it as well as I figured it would. It got up to about 58 degrees and I'm sure if I stopped the test a little bit before that, it would have been somewhere around 55 degrees or so. However, what we do know now is that the actual C rating lies in the maximum discharge continuous current, the continuous discharge current, somewhere between 50 amps and 65 amps. I would say that probably around the 60 to 65 amp mark, you're going to be safe. Yes, it does fail, but it does fail all the way down to a very small percentage of capacity remaining. So if you went with 65 amps as your C rating, whatever that number works out to, that would probably be okay. If you went with 60 amps, that would be a little bit more conservative. Let's do the math and see what kind of C rating that actually is. Here's our calculator. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our current of 65 amps, we're gonna divide it by a four amp hour pack. That's because it's a 4,000 milliamp hour pack. We get 16.25C as of the actual C rating that we're getting from this pack. And if we go with a little bit more of a conservative 60 amps and divide it by four, we're getting 15C. So you can see whether we do the 65 divided by our four amp hour at 16 and a quarter, somewhere between 15 and 16.25, is going to be the actual C rating of this pack as tested within this setup, this environment. When you really look at it, this is not that far off from our predicted and estimated C rating from the calculator that we used earlier. There you go, guys. I'm actually quite surprised about the results that we have seen here. A couple things stand out to me. 
Well, the first thing is this battery pack C rating is actually very, very low. I was not expecting it to be that low. And better yet, I was definitely not expecting it to be lower than the theoretical calculated value. So very interesting stuff indeed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, smash that like button. Make sure that you subscribe so you can see more videos like this in the future. As always, have a good one, guys.